All right, Braden, you're through to the final round of uh, Wimbledon qualifying. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Um, you were playing a Canadian, a, a Canadian that probably most people aren't all that familiar with. Did you know him at all? Yeah, I've known Steven since uh, when I was, since I was like 17, 18. We kind of played those futures out in Saskatoon and Calgary. That's where I first saw him. I can't remember if I ever played him in a match. I know I played him in doubles, but obviously, you know, Spanish that now plays for Canada. Uh, it was a different feeling than, than actually playing another Canadian, you know. Sometimes there's some time a little bit of pressure with the Canadian rivalry. Yeah, if it were so. Polanski or Pelevo. Yeah, it would have been a little bit different. Today I didn't really feel much of that. Um, you know, I was able to stay focused and play my game, and I thought I executed really well. And certainly on grass, you'd give yourself probably a very good shot against, I mean, a lot of people, but particularly him, I think, not necessarily his. Yeah, obviously he's more of a clay quarter, I think. So, you know, knowing that, uh, he still had a really good win first round against Ito, who's a great grass player. So I was impressed by that. And obviously, you know, he's, he's a lot older, so he's played a lot on grass. And the grass has changed. It's really slow. The last two years playing here, it's been, I feel like it's slower every year. Conditions uh, were, you know, cold, so it makes it even slower. Um, you know, tomorrow's I think it's gonna be hotter, so that'll suit me a little bit better, which I like. Yeah, so there were challenge there were challenges involved today that went beyond just for sure, else. just in regular grass, which yeah, windy and a little cold, so handled it well. You had a tough you had a tough year here last, a year ago at the same stage. What are you mm -hmm. gonna do? What are you gonna tell yourself? How are you gonna work it so that you um, you finish it differently this time? Finished it okay, so I think last year the lesson that I learned was I, I was a little bit too patient. You know, I thought that I would just stay calm and stay calm and it's three out of five. There's a lot of tennis to be played. Uh, I think tomorrow I'm going to go out there and, and maybe come up with a little bit more energy. And, you know, I think last year maybe I was a little bit worried about playing three out of five, uh, the fitness and everything in that. And it was hot here last year. Uh, you know, this, this time around I've been through two matches that haven't really taxed my body too much. And uh, I trust my fitness a lot more. So, uh, you know, I'm just going to go for it. and and uh, definitely play with more energy out there tomorrow. Yeah, the three out of five set thing, all of a sudden after after best two out of three is really kind of a big switch to flick, isn't it? Yeah, it's a big change, but you know, I think it gets you ready for main draw, honestly. Um, you know, uh, it's a little bit of a, a little bit of change if you go from qualities only two to three and then changing venues and everything three out of five. I kind of like that the final round is three out of five in, in the qualities here. Uh, so you get a feel in, 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 a, in an area that you're comfortable with. Hey, good explanation. Yeah. All right, good. thanks, good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much.